Kathy Hawk leads the Trotters out onto the track for race one. Exacted trifecta wagering, daily double wagering as well. One is Glenview Speedster, only driven by Scott Ferguson. Two is Leonard Buckner's Follow My Crown and Jeff Fout. Three is Solemn Promise, owned by Robert Lewis Sr. with Dave Hawk. Four, Worthy Chaplin, owned by Bill Ferris with Don McCurgan. Five, Little Red, is owned by William Albright, Sam Albright, the driver. The six is Silky Sue, leased by Ruth Haynes and driven by Keith Haynes. Seven is Rose Run Czar, owned by Herbert Colburn with Kyle Ader. And the eight horse is Hemlock Suites, owned by the Homestock Farm with Charlie Smith, Jr. Seven minutes to post time for the first. They're in the back stretch to follow my crown is off stride. There they go. And they're off very scattered at the start. Also making a break with Solemn Promise and Rose Runzar and Hemlock Sweet spot the field about three lengths. It's Silky Sue taking the early lead, opening up two on Little Red in second. Gap is then three to Worthy Chaplin, who comes away in third. Just in front of Rose Runzar, who is three clear of Hemlock Suites. Then it's two and a half more to Glenview Speedster. Five lengths back to Salem Promise. And about ten lengths behind that one is Follow My Crown. Very well spread out as they move to head stretch for the first time with Silky Sue on the lead. Silky Sue in 29 and 1. Passing the grandstand for the first time. It's Silky Sue. Settled down on the front end. Leads it by two from Little Red in second. Length and a half more. Worthy Chaplin is third. Pondering a move to the outside. Next is Rose Runzar, followed by Hemlock Suites. Four more to Glenview Speedster, who is four clear of Salem Promise. And the distant trailer is Follow My Crown. Moving around the turn on their way to halftime, it's Silky Sue leading the way. Silky Sue, Worthy Chaplin is first over now on the outside second. Little Red in the pocket, a ground-saving third. Followed by Rose Runzar, who's Trying to catch cover on the outside in fourth. Hemlock Suites is fifth, only about four off the tempo setter. Then five lengths farther back to Glenview Speedster. Salem Promise far, far back. Follow my crown. Halftime, one minute flat. Three eights remaining as they head down the back stretch. It's Silky Sue with the neck in front. Worthy Chaplin pressuring from the outside. Gap out two lengths to Little Red in third. Three in front of Hemlock Suites. That one is three clear of Glenview Speedster. Next in line, we come to Solemn Promise, followed by Rose Runzar, who's losing touch with the field, and far back, follow my crown, three quarters in 129 and four. Moving around to the top of the stretch, and Silky Sue draws out again and leads it by a length from Worthy Chaplin, who's under urging in second. Too far the back to Little Red. Glenview Speedster is trying to rally on the far outside, but still has four and a half to make up, followed by Hemlock Suites as they trot through the stretch. And it's Silky Sue still in command by two lengths. Worthy Chaplin trying to close. Glenview Speedster is trotting well on the far outside. Silky Sue on top. Glenview Speedster and Worthy Chaplin. Silky Sue wins it. Then it was Worthy Chaplin and Glenview Speedster. Six four exact eighty four dollars and sixty cents. The try six four one eight hundred eighteen dollars and sixty cents. Back to the winner's circle comes Silky Sue. First win in seven starts on the season. She's a five year old bay mare by Carry the Message out of Corn Silk Sue by Cornstalk. Leased by Ruth Haynes of New Holland, Ohio. Trained and driven by Keith Haynes in two oh two and two. Here's your rundown for the first race. 